Hello students and aspiring nomads, Drew Taylor here with Digital Nomad University and I wanted to welcome you back to the channel and uh, I'm super duper excited about the guest we have on today. Her name is Katie Semeca and she is actually going to teach you how to go from zero to $100 a day using Pinterest. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Hey, what's going on? Aspiring nomads, Drew Taylor here once again with another interview. Uh, today we have Katie Semeca with us and I'm excited, uh, extremely excited to go ahead and welcome her on. Um, she is uh, basically what you would call an ideal student. Uh, she actually puts in the practice, uh, you know, the things that she's learning, not just from, uh, you know, our community, but also other things uh, and other people online. And so um, it's always a breath of fresh air to see people who actually, you know, learn and implement because everybody can, can digest information all day long, uh, but it's a completely different story when you're actually implementing them in order to hit your goals. And so, uh, Katie, if you wanted to say hi to everyone real quick. Hey guys, I'm Katie. All right, well, um, Katie, I just, I wanna jump in real quick, just kind of establish you here. Um, if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, um, you know, kind of the reason you got started online. But before we kind of jump into that, uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit more about your brand, your website, so we can grab that right up front and then we'll make sure we drop all those links in the description below, below or if you're seeing this on Facebook, we'll, we'll put it in the comments for you. Okay, so I have kind of a homemaking blog. It's katiescottage.com and so that's the name everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. Um, yeah, so it's about, it's my tagline is like simple and productive homemaking. I help other women um find ways to make homemaking easier since this is kind of a busy everyone's always busy and being a mom is a lot different than i say it used to be there's Absolutely. a lot more on our plate yeah Absolutely. so um i write about decluttering cleaning routines building like systems and routines to help you make things at home easier for you all right yeah. that's what i love man see you you found a need you found a niche and you filled it uh, with things that you already knew or were already learning about. And you clearly you found an area where you were probably ha having a hard time finding information on it. And so you're just like, you know what, why don't, why don't I go ahead and put this into blog format and, you know, actually build a brand around this because, you know, I I'm not the only one searching for this. And so guys, that's absolutely huge when it comes to building a brand online, you know, rather than just, you know, going with, you know, what's making you money, why don't you actually, kind of go find that need, fill it uh, as you're going ahead and learning that information for yourself. So that's awesome. So how, how long have you been, uh, you know, running your blog and uh, building your brand? Um, two years like today. Oh, wow. <laughs> I saw, yeah, I knew it was coming up on two years and I saw like a Facebook memory or something of, I had just started something day and I was like, wow, it was today. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, ah, that's freaking awesome, man. Absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah. I'm glad we got to, uh, you know, kind of uh, jump on here on your official two-year anniversary because yeah. you've hit some oh, incredible gosh. benchmarks here lately with your brand. And um, in just two short years, man, there's a lot of people out there who have been grinding for a lot longer than that and have yet to see the type of success that you're now seeing. And so uh, big kudos on that, man. That's exciting. Thanks. Cool. Well, um, when you first kind of got your start online, um, can you tell us a little bit more about um, you know what kind of drove you to that decision to go ahead and start it because obviously a lot of people are online searching and whatnot but they don't necessarily have business in the forefront of their mind what what made you decide to turn this into like a lifestyle business um, so I was a teacher before for seven years I was a math teacher and a coach and so that was like all I knew and I kind of grew up in a family that was really like that was the path it was just like we would have a nine to five job forever and you retire when you're 60 or whatever so yeah. it has been quite the process <laughs> i did marry a like more uh entrepreneurial i can't say that word right but you know he has that more of that mindset so i've kind of learned that from him mm -hmm. um but i guess when it really started thinking about it was um so my last year of teaching i had a baby and then i was mm -hmm. like i did i wanted to try to work from home but I still had that like one track mind of like, it has to be like my career that I went to school for. 
I've had a lot of money to, to get that degree. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, I ended up getting a job teaching online, but I tried to teach online and be a mom and not have a babysitter and it was like it was yeah. crazy it was a crazy year <laughs> <laughs> can only imagine, so I started man. I was like I you know we really do need another income but my, my priority was my daughter so I just started researching how moms make money from home I really thought hard about like network marketing and it just didn't seem like me and then I came across affiliate marketing and I didn't even know what it was like two years mm. ago I had zero idea what it was and I started asking my husband about it and he's like, yeah, sure. So I was like, I'm going to start this thing called the blog. And it, I had a totally different niche in the beginning. And I was like, I bought everything for a year. And my husband was like, wow, you bought your hosting package for a year. You're he's like, you must be serious. I'm like, <laughs> I don't start, I don't start something to not be serious. Yes. Yeah. So it's been a process. I actually gave up for like six months in the first, for the first year. Yeah. I still had like some traffic trickling in and I still had email subscribers every once in a while. And so one day I was like, yeah, I needed to decide, was I going to let it go or pay for everything again for the next year? And I just, I started researching more. I took your class. That was about, that was like when I decided to pick it back up again. And so another year later and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll, man. Yeah, yeah, this literally is almost a year to date, just a little over a year uh, since the initial course came out. And so uh, it's so cool to see what you've been able to implement over like the last 12, 13 months uh, to the point where you are now. And so I'm going to brag on you a little bit here um, because okay. uh, Katie actually recently just put up a post in the Facebook group talking about a few different benchmarks she recently hit. One of those uh, being, uh, you know, a significant amount of traffic to her site. And um, re remind me, it was about 5,000 hits a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely that's like the average. Huge. Yeah. And uh, so obviously you're, you're more on the blog side. I'm more on like social media side. Obviously you do both. But overall, is, is there an actual tracking metric for as far as like uh, click through rate or anything like that that you know for your website currently or an average for uh, industry? Wow, that would be... A good thing for me to know. <laughs> That's one thing I don't look. I look at my analytics, but um, I would say I'd have a completely made-up number. But I use Pinterest for my main source, and so yeah. you can see like how many eyes are seeing your pins, and then yeah. you can obviously see your blog traffic coming from there. Yeah. And so um, I don't have a number for you, but I. I watch a lot of other bloggers to learn and I know that my metrics are very comparable to like a big blogger. I have just, yeah. you know, only been around for a smaller amount of time. Awesome, man. That's so cool. Um, I, I'll go ahead and talk about your second big benchmark here as well, which, um, you know, Katie is, is crushing it online guys. She recently hit, um, one of, uh, you know, one of her goals, and that was to obviously do this from home in order to actually make a true full-time income. And she just hit the $100 a day club. So literally $100 a day doing what she loves online and helping people in the process because she did find that niche. She found that need and was able to fill it with the information she was learning online. So once again, kudos and congrats to you, man. That's absolutely huge. And Thank like you. I said, that's a big benchmark most people are, are really striving to hit. And so, um, you know, the fact that you stuck it out, man, uh, would you say it was worth it? It's definitely worth it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Well, I, I also want to hit on, um, you know, because everybody has their own way, right? Um, own, own way of building a brand, own way of driving traffic, building a loyal follower list and whatnot. And obviously you're in an area where I have not personally, you know, delved too much in and that is Pinterest. And so, you know, I am, I'm totally the student here on this one. I would absolutely love to know kind of like how you got into Pinterest, how you got good at Pinterest, and then kind of like the results and traffic you've seen come from Pinterest. Okay, so, um, you know, you first started a blog and I, I'm very introverted and the idea of like social media was like really scary to me because I knew I was going to have to like get out of my comfort zone and be, you know, posting on social media more. Absolutely. And then uh, one thing that's helped me a lot is to like, make sure I don't know any bloggers or really any entrepreneurs, people that work online in real life. 
Yeah. You know, so I had to like find those people online and then I just started asking questions and I Googled a ton. Yes. <laughs> and I saw other bloggers saying, uh, yeah, like use Pinterest. It's hmm. great. Uh, so I just started doing like as much research as I could on Pinterest. And I just like, I think it's cause I taught, I taught math. So I have like a, I can follow the process. Yes. <laughs> so if, if, uh, I got myself in kind of a little network of bloggers who know a lot more than I do. And they said, do ABC and I did ABC. And then I found some things that like worked a little better for me. There's actually like so much more to Pinterest. That it's like mind blowing, but Absolutely. it's kind of like a search engine, I guess. That's why I find it better for me than like putting stuff on Instagram because people are actually like searching for you, yeah. searching for your content, which always, leads gives better results for everything it's yeah. more sales if they're searching for your stuff oh i don't know if i cool. answered your question but <laughs> absolutely absolutely okay. so you you, you basically you, you're re you're a researcher you are looking for ways to, in order to drive traffic in order to get more people there you saw mm -hmm. pinterest was a was a hot one and um, it absolutely is what most people don't know about pinterest which obviously you do but out of all e-commerce sales online, well, not only does 55% of all e-commerce run through Amazon, which is wild, um, but outside of those metrics, the number one uh, social media referral site for, for actual purchases and sales online is Pinterest. And mm -hmm. when people think about purchasing things online, that's probably not the first thing that comes to their mind. And so you have definitely obviously taken great advantage of that to the tune of like, do, what percentage of your traffic would you say comes from Pinterest, you know? Uh, yeah, it's like scarily too much. <laughs> if something happened to Pinterest, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> so I've actually like started now that I'm at this spot, then like I can take some time to diversify learn how to a little bit. Uh, yeah. So it's like 95%. That's, that's wow. like not a joke. <laughs> that's incredible. Uh, yeah. Seriously. It's but crazy. obviously people love Pinterest. Pinterest is not going anywhere. Um, I know a lot of people have fully built their business based around Pinterest. So, mm. I, you know, one way or another, obviously as SEO on the site picks up and more people are finding you organically, yeah. um, you know, Pinterest is an incredible traffic source. So you're definitely on something big there. And I mean, obviously this is just, just the beginning. Uh, you're yeah, really starting so. to see <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, well, can you tell us a little bit more uh, about your brand and kind of some of the blog posts you're putting up? And, um, and also can you, uh, before we get too deep into this, can you tell us, um, your, the social media channels to find you on, you know, your ads, uh, you know, usually yeah. Not. yeah. Um, so pretty much everything's Katie's cottage. Uh, the only one that's like a little odd is Instagram is at Katie's dot cottage. Cause someone knows someone normal person, not normal, but like yeah. some other person, yeah. yeah. already had it. Good um, yeah. So Katie, Katie's dot cottage. Oh, but it's, it's all K's. I should mention that ah, since my okay. name is Katie and it starts with a K cottage also starts with a K. Awesome. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, we'll make sure. Important. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely, definitely important. Uh, we yeah. can throw all those links down below too, so people can find you. And also, you know, like, uh, just like you, I, I love to study people. I love to study people who are doing things and doing it big. And, um, you know, sometimes it's much, much easier to find someone uh, you know, who has not necessarily blown up and is having millions of viewers each day, you know, it's easier to learn from the person who is at that next level where you've already jumped up to. And so guys, I encourage you to obviously check out Katie's blog, check out her Instagram um, and, and Pinterest, same, same Katie's cottage on Pinterest. Yeah. Awesome. I'm kind of a, like I said, I'm, I'm much of a, a Katie's or sorry, a Pinterest novice. Uh, so I will probably have some questions for you in the coming weeks about that. Yeah. If you don't use Pinterest for your business, I think you're missing out. <laughs> yes, absolutely, ma'am. Yeah. Well, cool. Um, well, when it comes to the, the type of content on your blogs and whatnot, what do you see just for your specific niche? What do you see driving the most traffic for you? Um, usually, usually if I have a really good catchy title on my pin. <laughs> That okay. brings a lot of traffic. Um, but some of my top posts would be, um, I have a, like a cleaning checklist and that that's what has built my email list. But mm -hmm. so it's called like simple cleaning routine awesome. and like with a free printable checklist. And it just, it's just about 
making a routine to keep your house clean. <laughs> and awesome, when I first man. started, I thought like, it seems so cheesy. Like no one's going to want to read this, but I just, I just threw it out there and I'm so surprised like by how many people actually need help keeping up with their house. Um, some of my other popular ones are like, um, 10 habits, uh, to keep a tidy home. And I have a lot on decluttering. So a few, I have a few posts, like 101 things to get rid of now. Um, <clears throat> that would be me. How to, yeah. How to declutter sentimental items has been a popular one. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So all yeah, kinds of yeah. your house. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, per, it's perfect. It's, it's no joke. And it's no wonder why all of those number one posts are extremely congruent with your brand. You know, clearly people are yeah. searching for that specifically. And you've obviously been able to figure out who your audience is and call them out directly. And I mean, that's in this whole online game, that's, that's money. You know, that's where everything is at. Uh, Cause if you don't know, you know, who your specific avatar is, who you're targeting specifically, then you've got content all over the place, but clearly mm -hmm. you're driving the, the right type of traffic and obviously you're being rewarded for it. So that's awesome. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I learned, I learned that from you. Like I have a person in my mind when I write, like I write to her mm -hmm. and like, she's very specific. So I, that I learned that from your class. So that's helped a lot. Love it, man. So cool. Yeah. Uh, do, did you name this person? Um, she does have a name. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take that. Okay. <laughs> it's a normal name. It just seems kind of weird that, yeah, she has a name. Hey, no, not weird at all. You, if you're writing to someone, you better make sure that, uh, you know, they are a real person. And so, um, well, awesome, man. Well, I do have really just one more question. Like I said, um, I like to keep it casual and just really uh, learn more about you as a person and kind of what's been working for you. And obviously, you know, from what you've said and, and what I know about you, um, I'd love to know, uh, you know, when it comes to the affiliate side of things, that's kind of where you have found, um, you know, things to be most profitable from my understanding. And so uh, when it came to finding specific affiliate products or different ad networks, et cetera, what was the process you went through to find those uh, for your specific audience? Um, kind of the same thing. I, I, I did research. I asked other bloggers what they did and I signed up for a few different ones, but the, the one that really just sticks and works for me is Amazon oh. because if, you know, if someone clicks through the link and they buy anything, you get the, uh, you still yeah. get commission on what they bought, even if it wasn't your item. So while they pay like so little, um, since I have the traffic that I have, uh, that's a big piece too. I do have ads. So that has been, um, awesome. a big chunk of income as well. Um, but yeah, the, just Amazon, cause they have everything. And I just put, I do a lot of like organization things. That's yeah. what people buy are like, things to use to organize different spaces in your home or actual cleaning stuff like mops and sometimes people buy the vacuum I recommend which is good because that's a high ticket item wow wow that's yeah. amazing Dude, yeah that's so cool yeah man those high ticket items those uh those start equating those start adding up big time uh especially yeah. when it comes to the Amazon network and you've got multiple sales going through you know in a in a weekly monthly period so very cool, man. Um, well, uh, I don't want to, you know, I know you've got, you've got um, a busy life over there, um, which let me remind me just one child right now currently. Okay. Yeah. One three-year-old. Yeah. One three -year -old. Okay. For some reason I had, I had two daughters in my mind. I'm like, no, that's not right. So, okay. No, we just Whoosh. have one. <laughs> well, clearly you're not making any excuses for uh, your busy life, your blog, your family, your, your kid. Um, you know, what advice would you give to someone who is looking to kind of venture out on their own journey? Maybe not in the same niche or anything, but what would advice would you give them to the person who's like, well, I just don't know, or I, I don't think I have enough time for that. Um, I guess you just make time for what is important to you. And mm -hmm. like with me, I feel like often, like I struggle with balancing my time yeah. and I just, I mean, I find that. I give my daughters to like a ton of attention during the day and I still find time. You just have to like not be on social media. I don't really watch TV. I'm just saying you, you, if something like this is important to you, you do make the time. Yep. Um, 
you just might give up other things. Like I hardly ever scroll through social. I used to watch a lot of YouTube and get on Instagram, watch TV. Like we watch TV sometimes, but we watch Shark Tank <laughs> because it's yeah, Jesus. Yeah, there so, you go. Being yeah. an entrepreneur, but yeah, you know, so you just make time and maybe give up a couple of the other things that weren't really that important. Mm, that's good, man. Begin with. And then, uh, and you just be consistent. Like that's what really when I saw success was I decided I know I can't do it all. So mm. I, I really going to focus on Pinterest and not try to do all the social media. And yeah. I'm going to write one blog post a week and I'm going to email my subscribers once a week. Like, and I just made sure I did that every week and that has really helped. Love it. And how long would you say now that you've been uh, kind of sticking to that type of schedule? Um, when I want to say it's been uh, a year. About a year? About a year. Yeah. Awesome, man. So that's, you know, probably at least 52 blog posts, um, mm -hmm. you know, right around there, maybe more, maybe less. But overall, you're right. That's when it comes to success, man. Uh, success yeah. is, is found in consistency. And so when you make a decision, you got to stick to it until, you know, whether you're seeing results or not. And clearly, as, as mentioned, yeah. you know, you're, you're being rewarded for everything that you have learned and every, every bit of input and, um, you know, work that you've put into your blog. So that's some freaking awesome. Well, cool, man. Well, um, Thank you so much for sharing with us, Katie. I really appreciate it big yeah. time, taking your you know, time out of your schedule, away from your family to jump on and share some insights some knowledge into you and your business. I uh, really do appreciate it. Of so yeah. I just want to thank you big time for that. And um, yeah, thank as you. mentioned, yeah. Uh, as mentioned, guys, uh, we'll go ahead and throw Katie's links down in the description below, or if you're watching this on Facebook later, in the comments, so you guys can connect with her further. Um, is there a specific social media that you prefer people to go to, or do you just suggest have them go to your blog? Um, they, if they want to like contact me, probably Instagram. Okay. Um, but yeah, check out my blog at your, if you have, if anyone has any questions, like now I have this new thing. I think every mom can make money from home, make money from home if she wants to. So love it. feel free to ask questions. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Katie. Really appreciate it. We'll let you get back to your family now. And um, I'm excited to share this with the community because I know it's going to help a lot of people. So yeah, I hope so. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right. You thanks. have a great night. Yeah. And you we'll too. be in touch. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Take care. All right. See ya.